How's it going, everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Marvel and, of course, MCU. And with only a couple of days left until WandaVision Episode 8, which is going to be the longest episode that we've gotten so far, and, of course, the finale coming up in a week and a couple of days, things are getting super intense, especially with all of the reveals that came in Episode 7. And if you have not seen Episode 7 or anything leading up to it, here is your official spoiler alert. Episode 7 revealed Agatha Harkness. Not like we didn't really know it was her, because we did, but the way they revealed her was pretty epic. Her taking the twin boys and Wanda discovering her evil lair, then showing her that she is actually the one that's been behind everything all along. But as we're going through Agatha's lair and they're showing different things inside of it, there is a very important scene not only for WandaVision, but the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe as a whole. So let's break it all down. But if you're new, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest WandaVision videos. So as I just mentioned, Marvel just changed the entire MCU in WandaVision Episode 7 by introducing the Darkhold. The Darkhold is the book that we briefly saw in Agatha's lair, and it had magic kind of flowing out of it, and it means a lot more than you think it does. I believe this book was actually stolen from Doctor Strange, and we'll get into that in this video, but I believe Agatha is about to bring one of the biggest MCU villains, a god villain, into the MCU's Earth dimension with this book, and I'm not talking about Mephisto or Nightmare, not the normal villains I've been talking about for WandaVision. I'm talking about an evil god villain. Now, this villain and Agatha needed Wanda and her sons, or at least one of her sons, to return. This is why everything is happening in the story of WandaVision, to bring this big bad to Earth, and eventually Doctor Strange and Wanda are going to have to fight not only Agatha, but to fight this god villain as well. Now, to understand who this god is, we'll have to go into the history of the Darkhold because he created it. This evil god villain is Chthon. You may have heard me mention him before, and he has such a huge connection to Wanda in the comics. Now, to start it all off, Chthon actually created the Darkhold eons ago. Chthon wrote every single thing that he knew, all of his spells, his hexes, everything, onto a piece of indestructible parchment which was made out of flesh. Eventually, it was transcribed to stone, and the pages were bound together, creating the Darkhold, also known as the Book of Sins or the Shi'a. Yatra Book of the Damned. Now, some of you may know and be familiar with this book because it actually made an appearance in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. However, don't get your hopes up, I don't think this will be connected at all to the storyline of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm pretty sure the president of Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige, doesn't count Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as canon to what is going on in the MCU. So don't get your hopes up there. But this book is insanely powerful. It has all of the knowledge of an evil god. And this god had a very specific purpose for this book and for the Scarlet Witch. Now, in a story in the comics, Chthon is actually how Wanda gets her powers. Chthon was actually on the Earth dimension for some time until he gets banished. And even though he's banished, he still tries to get back to Earth. And at one point in time, Chthon actually reaches out to an infant girl and marks her as a possible vessel for him to use one day to get back to Earth. And of course, that girl was Wanda Maximoff. And his apparent marking or blessing is what gives Wanda her chaos magic. Chthon would go on to possess Wanda multiple times throughout the comics in order to try and get back to Earth. But he also had another way. Before fleeing to the flickering dimension, as it's called in the comics, he left another way for him to get back home on Earth, and that was the Darkhold. Chthon used this book not only to infect Earth with his influence and his spells, but also in hopes to use it as a potential gateway between the dimension he was stuck in and the Earth dimension to return one day. Now, we obviously know that the MCU doesn't really copy the stories from the comics. They kind of take a baseline from the comics and then create their own story around it. So in this case, I don't think Wanda is marked by Chthon. Instead, I think either both or one of her twin boys are. It's fairly obvious at this point in time that Wanda's twins, Billy and Tommy, aren't really Vision's kids. They're Wanda's kids, but they're also somebody else's kids since she was impregnated by magic. I believe that Chthon impregnating her could be his mark. And just like as I've mentioned with Mephisto and Nightmare before, the same applies for Chthon. This could be his way to finally get back into the Earth dimension by 
impregnated Wanda with a part of him, his marking, a part of him is in the Earth dimension, and this could be the start of him returning. However, he would need the help of something else, the help of the Darkhold and a servant to summon him. And the servant, of course, is Agatha Harkness. Now, how did she get the Darkhold? Where did it come from? Well, although we have not seen it yet, but probably will get a scene where we see it, it looks like she stole it from Doctor Strange's sanctum. In the first Doctor Strange film where Steven is learning the mystic arts, he continues to progress until eventually he needs to progress even further. It's there where he starts to go into the forbidden books. And in one scene, we can see that where the books are being held, the forbidden books, there is a book missing. Now, some people are saying that this is the book that Caecilius took, but Caecilius only took pages to a book, and the book still remains at the Sanctum. So this book right here is most likely the Darkhold, the one that Agatha Harkness now possesses. Now, Agatha is a witch of over 10,000 years old, so she is going to be extremely powerful, so she could be capable of breaking into the Sanctum and stealing this book. And the Masters of the Mystic Arts and the Sorcerer Supreme would definitely be responsible for protecting this book. This book is how Chithon could return, an outer dimensional god being. It's like the sorcerer's main job to make sure that beings like this don't return. So they were definitely looking after it, but it looks like Agatha stole it. And this is actually going to be the connection of how Doctor Strange is going to show up in WandaVision. Although it's not 100% confirmed, it is widely expected that Doctor Strange will eventually show up in the finale. And of course, Kevin Feige, the president of Marvel Studios, has already confirmed that WandaVision leads right up to Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. It takes place right after WandaVision. And this is another reason why the Darkhold being taken from the Sanctum makes perfect sense. Protecting Earth's reality, as Doctor Strange says in Avengers Infinity War to Tony Stark, is his job. Now, what exactly is Agatha going to do with the book, with Wanda and the twins? Well, yesterday, my co-host Chris of my channel Cosmic Culture posted his own theory of what the book could be used for. And if you haven't checked my other channel out, be sure to head over and subscribe. I'll link it down below. But this theory is involves the Nexus commercial that we got in episode 7. And what we believe is that this book is going to be used in some way, shape, or form to manipulate the multiverse. A nexus is a connection or linking between two or more things, like two or more universes or dimensions connecting to each other. And here's what I believe is happening. Chathon needs a way to get back to Earth. In the comics, Chathon marked Wanda as a possible way for him to get back to Earth. But in the MCU, in WandaVision, he used his magic to impregnate Wanda, marking both or one of the twins. And this is the nexus, this is the connection between him and the Earth Dimension. Since he's the father of the twins, a part of him now lives in the Earth Dimension. And now, all it takes is a very, very powerful spell, a spell that he wrote himself and put in the Darkhold to bring him back. And this is what it's all been about. Chithon needed a magical being, somebody strong enough to use as his vessel to return. So Agatha put a hex on Wanda, created a perfect world for her where she would want kids. It's been about kids the whole entire time. It's been a huge theme. For the children, right? In episode 2, it was right there in our face. For the children. And now, Agatha has the children. And her intentions are to use the Darkhold to summon or bring back to the Earth dimension, Chathon. And I believe that she will be successful. I kind of think that it will only take one twin to do this, so perhaps one of the twins will survive but I do believe that Chathon is going to be summoned and I believe that that's how Doctor Strange gets involved and he will be the main villain of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. But let me know what you think about this theory in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell turned on so you don't miss out on any of the latest WandaVision and MCU videos. Don't forget to like the video and for live updates you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and as always thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.